Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So everything kind of looks about the same as where we left it before, right? Maybe not. Uh, so I have been going crazy, platforming this whole place like crazy, well, foundationing it. And so I've lifted up our, uh, our building here from before, the hub, and I've moved these guys to the side. I've put our chests over here now, which most of these are just empty. Um, they're just for, you know, putting the odds and ends. I took down our entire um, power system and re-put it in another location, mostly for the fact because it was a different level, so I kind of rebuilt it. And then, you know, took down the old one after I got this one hooked up. So same, same specs, 20 uh, of these in total. They're not connected to the hub anymore, so it's 600 watts right on the uh, megawatts right on the dot. And so, yeah, these are running pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with how those are going. Uh, I have this here. I moved our, you know, our, you know, structure here for the uh, the biofuel here. So these are running. There's extra here because I was moving things and I lost some stuff. So it's just sitting there for now. Um, I'm going to have to, my inventory is empty right now. We're going to fill it up here soon. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have to do more with that, uh, you know, extra uh, um you know, a couple more containers or whatever. Just so that we can continue using biofuel for now. You're probably seeing something different here. So this is um, the lovely uh, system here for concrete. And I love it. It works really well. So basically over here, you got this. This was a decent one, right? 120, right? Not overclocked or anything like that. So I got the faster MK2 belt there. I got to go into a splitter because these only require 45 a minute, not 60 plus. So that's good. So I come on a splitter and then they're making the concrete and then they're going back to a merger because they're still fast enough, right? Uh, which is the nice thing because they output I think at 15, right? Yeah, 15. So you got 45 in total, so that's fine. So we merge them all up and they're going in here. And look at this thing. It's almost actually full if you can believe that, which is pretty, pretty damn cool, honestly. Uh, might even fill my inventory up so I can work on some of this with you guys. Um, I kind of wanted to do a video because I was, uh, you know, I've, I've done too much with the base lately. And I wanted to show you what I was doing here. Now, you're probably noticing, well, what the heck is this? Well, this is actually more concrete. And uh, so I've decided to go all the way out in the middle of nowhere. Yes, that's kind of how I'm doing things. And, uh, yeah, I worked on doing that there. So I'm thinking I would like to uh, bring this with me a bit if I can. So I'm just thinking I might go all the way over here and just bring this. The idea, the goal, like in a million years from now, is actually to concrete as much of the area as possible or I should say foundation it, uh, just because that's kind of the, the goal here. Um, the more foundation we have, the, the flatter things are, it's easier to organize, and it just kind of looks cool just dragging the foundation everywhere we go, honestly. So I think that's kind of the big key here is we're just, we're going to have like, you know, it's going to be foundation world, basically. Oh, look at that. Only if we were smart enough, we could have called it Founder's World, you know, Foundation. <laughs> but anyway, so that's sort of what I do. Like, what you just saw is basically what I do. And uh, this is what I'm doing everywhere. Just, you know, filling in the foundation to go in there. Yeah. And uh, I'm having a blast doing it. And uh, yeah, we're extending it more and more and more. Because we want to get this over to those, you know, that new area I was working on as well. So that's kind of one of the ideas. Now, dealing with different levels matters, right? Like, you you know, you're going to have different levels and issues like that. So what we do is we use ramps and we're going up and down kind of thing. And that's what I did over here. So that way it's still like the same size platforms, everything else. Now, over here, this is kind of unique here. Um, same idea. Um, doing the, the merger and everything else. And it's, it's more than enough to keep up as you saw that they, they weren't full at the full all the time kind of thing, which is great. And this was awesome too, because it's exactly another pure node of limestone. So this thing is beautiful. It's just, it's just kicking out limestone nonstop. Boom, boom, boom. And makes me really happy. Now, I haven't really investigated over here, actually. I felt bad just even getting this far over here. I mean, it's not really that far. There's our base. But, you know, it adds up. It, it is definitely far. Oh, crap. That's not good for us. Holy crap. We we need to be careful. I'm almost dead to begin with. So, uh, that was kind of stupid on my part. So, these areas you can't go to yet. They're poisonous. I believe they might have some interesting stuff later on. You can maybe get there. Um, but for now... Uh, we're just not welcome in those areas. So that's fine. Let's go grab this. There you go. 
It has to be a pain and grab slightly more. Actually, this is good because I, I don't even have any food anyways. I don't think we've actually ate since we started to play this series. All that health is all the damage I've gotten. I've ran into stuff like that already before accidentally, you know, from time to time being a derp and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of a nice, you know, thing there. There's limestone. Huh. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, uh, very rocky over here. Very interesting little area. Um, I don't think there's much over here. Oh, that's coal. Oh, shoot. Um, F, F. Why is my tool not on me? Why are you guys not split up right? Okay. We're going to try to fight this guy without dying here. There you go. This is going to be hard. I think you're just going to have to go in and tank it up, basically. Because I think if you try to dance with them, because close range, you can't dodge back and forth easily enough. So I think we'll end up getting hurt. Uh, coal is something... I don't know when coal is unlocked. I doubt it's locked in, you know. Maybe you just pick up coal and it unlocks. I doubt it, but... I, you'd think she'd say something about it, buy it now, anyway, so... More than likely, this is something that, uh... We we're just not at yet. Uh, we have to unlock it and whatnot. So there's coal. That was normal. This is probably normal as well, since it's pretty close by. So it's probably the same, yeah... Same little, uh, family there. So there's more. Oh my goodness, that guy looks bigger than the last guy we just fought. Holy crap, that guy's huge. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight that guy. I hear a slug. Ah, it's in this rock. So, you know, this is like the third or fourth rock I've seen with, you know, that going on. So I, I will am happy to say, and I'm confident to say, that those are on purpose. So I think later on there's an ability to blow up and destroy rocks themselves. And so it looks like a lot of the slugs are actually hidden behind the rocks themselves, which is kind of cool. And uh, so I like that idea. And uh, I just thought, you know what? I think now I can pretty much confirm that. I, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening there because uh, we keep getting more and we keep seeing more and more of them. So or at least I keep seeing more and more of them. You have to take my word. But we've seen another one like that too. So that's at least two during a Let's Play we've seen. We might have seen another one together. I'm not sure, but... There you go. So this is what I do, honestly. I mean, it's not it's not too exciting for you guys, obviously. But for me, this is kind of fun. I'm just kind of filling in. It's like it's kind of like you know Minecraft taking a shovel and you know flattening a whole area of it, and then just placing you know your 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 dirt down or whatever, and just kind of working on that over and over and over. And that's kind of what we're doing here, in a sense, honestly. Is just we're kind of. Just working on filling this in over time, and then that way it's more of a work area, and it's kind of fun. I don't know. It just adds a it adds a whole element of you know we've conquered this area. You know, it's like it's ours now. If that makes any weird sense, hopefully. And easily to get distracted. I mean, you you do this for hours and hours and hours, and you, you, you realize you get really distracted and it's like, holy crap, you know, that's why I was like getting to the point where, you know what, I need to do a let's play, you know, I got all this concrete coming in, which is great, you know, I need more concrete anyways, you know, I'm even, you know, I was even looking um, to do more actually, and there is more over in that area, I believe, I've actually decided, okay, maybe I'll just wait a bit because, you know, I'm going crazy now. But I think if you go like this, there's some right over right there, I think, is the one I was thinking. Is that the one? It's either that one or... Th yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so it was actually closer to our main base, uh, and I didn't realize that at the time. So I was like, oh, oh, okay, that that's good. So I'll, I'll work on that over time, I thought. And so um, that's why I decided, okay, you know, maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, work on this stuff instead. So, yeah, you can see it's quite close over there it's actually near a water like where i get my biofuel anyways from so i was thinking okay what i'll do is i'll just start working on this eventually and uh, i'll work on our platform out there and uh, it'll be worthwhile doing now one thing you notice probably and i probably i don't know if i mentioned it yet and it's something i remember you could do before and i think when it originally happened like this is when the game first came out it was like i think it was when it first came out anyways it was like you know, the wet dream of everybody out there basically was 
that you can build miners on top of the platforms. Now you can't, and I tested it today, and maybe there's a way. I tried to actually put a platform like way up here, like you know, higher up like this, and then try to mine down. That didn't work. Then I tried to attach multiple of the foundations down to the you know into the ground hoping that would work and it, it didn't work which is that's fine so you know like you're gonna have to go up and down and you know you can't just have foundation all on one level and just you know because your miners can't be all on one level that's that's just the fact how things work right so anyways long story short uh yeah you can place uh your materials or sorry your miners on top of the foundations as long as it's at a you know, a decent, uh, fair level. And I think we, yeah. It might have been him or it might have just us been us falling into that, to be honest. But you can see, like, you know, just doing this over time, like, you know, you're, you're already, you know, f getting to destinations a lot quicker. Just doing this. Like, you can, you can melt your time. I did that run wrong. But you can, you know, waste your time doing this, and then next thing you know, it's like, oh crap, it's been like three hours, and I haven't gotten anything done, and all I've been doing is placing foundations, and I love it. I like, I said, I love it. And this is why I said last time, like, I clearly can't record every moment of what I do, you know? Even a live stream, people would probably be like, you know, shooting themselves at this point. Are you seriously still placing foundation on the ground? Like, that's, that's probably what they would be saying, right? <laughs> I screwed that one up. Okay. But anyways, you get the idea. I screwed that up, too. Oh. There you go. Anyways, uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's do that search again. I mean, we're close by now. There it is. It's right there. So it's 40. Oh, this is limestone right here. Holy crap. I did not realize we got there already. So there it is. Impure. It's not even a good quality limestone. It's it's probably pretty much what I would consider the failure version of the limestone. Uh, that being said, I can still use it. I can get 30 out of it anyways, and I can overclock it down the road and get more if I wanted to. But, um, you know, in, in a sense, it's more limestone. So I can do something with it later on. And that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just not uh, not quite what I was hoping and wanting. And I'll leave that exposed just so I know where to get it, you know, for later on. Okay. So honestly, that's that's one of the, the things I've been doing. And it's actually a really key part of keeping all the foundation connected. Like, sort of like a, a, a highway system, a road system. And you probably were wondering and noticed, you know, why did you have the conveyor belts way up in the air and things like that for the concrete coming back? And it was simple. Uh, vehicles. Eventually, I'm going to be driving back and forth, getting around, you know, eventually there'll be other transportation like uh, the, there's the pneumatic tubes or whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, I'm going to eventually want to be getting back and forth doing things. And I want a you know, a decent way to get, you know, around, basically. So that, that was a key there. So let's put the materials in here. I have organic stuff going in here for now. I put even the saw there for fun. Um, let's go over here quickly one more time. I, I know I'm not supposed to be sitting over at the concrete all the time here. Uh, so that's why I have two concrete containers here. Literally, that's the whole point of it is just for storing up the concrete. I should expand this as well, uh, get more in here, of course, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just drain these now anyway, throw them into the containers over here, and that way I don't have to worry about it for now, you know. And then as time goes on, we're going to actually have bigger vehicles where I can actually tell them, hey, transport a bunch of this to here, or I have trains. You know, there's going to be ways to move things around because even when I'm hand doing this, you know, it gets kind of annoying, you know, like, hey, you're, you're going all the way. <laughs> you know how you do this? You do this, basically. You, you use your F and you can see what, what one has what inside of it. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some basic materials. Uh, let's just let's, let's just do like our normal, regular routine of, okay, so I need to get some wires. I need to get some this and that. And we're just going to fill up our inventory because I've used a lot of what I've had. So I kind of, I need to kind of replenish my supplies anyways. So I just want to go around and do that now. And there's the, I think that was the original rock that we saw the slime in there. And we're like, bastard, I want you. No, no, no. You don't want me. Look at these. 
remember back in the day when that stuff was rare and it's like, oh my goodness, that thing is expensive. How am I going to get any? It's like, eh, not anymore. Um, I'll get a bit more. The rods I'm going to need a bit too. Well, I'm getting everything actually, so it's not like I'm skipping out on anything. And then I might as well grab screws. I do use them from time to time. Still manually doing the stuff. I'm going to get over there and work on the assembly, you know, that whole assembly unit. That's going to be like an important part of what I want to do. I want to start researching and unlocking some of the stuff anyways. But clearly one of our biggest things is, you know, getting... Uh, the assembly machines and stuff done so let's go ahead and uh let's first go into our thing here let's grab uh, get rid of a couple items here anyways um just trying to yeah a little bit of room basically just so we can have some room to see so the assembly stuff which is a whole new you know whole new line of things that we're going to need here we definitely want to do we can do it right now it's it's basic milestone stuff anyways let's get it done and over with so we're going to need uh well you see right there and look at all you're going to get from that it's going to be actually a very nice uh kind of a very f uh, feature filled one so and then one two and then three and there you go Total, total parts received, so give you an idea. That's 1,200 parts that we just did. And that's going to be a six-minute... Milestone uh, reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Oh! I didn't even know there was stuff like that. The, the only reason I want the assembler was because of other stuff but look at that so i need a rotor and what is the other thing that's the re reinforced iron the uh, the iron plates these guys right here so the rotors that's something new to us uh here you go we can make 20 of them with what we have now actually and that's what we need for our car by the way yes 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 <laughs> sorry i'm excited I think you only needed like 10 or was it 5? Oh, I'm excited by that. Screw everything. Oh, you can make a bunch of them. You only needed 2. Oh, life is good, my friends. Oh, I've been dreaming of this day. Oh, it gets equipped. What the? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, man. Okay. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is like the worst. Okay, I gotta move my mouse with it. Okay, so the camera does not stick with it. So keep that in mind. But man, this thing actually has some ridiculous speed to it. Okay, I just did left click and that came up. Oh my gosh, this is like, my eyes are like, holy crap, this actually works really ridiculously well. Let's go off terrain here. I'm assuming that's it, you're, you're screwed when you go off, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, here's the question, can I, is there, oh, there's physics to it. Oh, when you hit E, it flips it the proper way anyways, there you go, let's go back on the normal terrain, uh, the smooth thing. So as you can see, platform is godly because this thing doesn't even... It sticks to it. It's like glue. Which is amazing, so... So yeah, this will make life easier going around doing things you need. You know, like, oh crap, I need this or that. You know, it's gonna make... It's awesome. It's gonna make life just getting around easier. Oh, that is so freaking cool. That was probably the autosave or something kicking in. Those are packed up quite a lot. They're breaking up here, so that's probably because the container, like the storage, was full. So it's probably like spitting out nonstop. Woo! Look at that air. Oh. Oh, we survived. Cool. So, I don't know, is there an inventory or anything like that? I don't... 
Oh, what the? There's legitimately a single inventory slot in the golf cart. I love that. That's where you leave your, you know, your bazooka or whatever. <laughs> well, we ain't getting her back up there. Uh, there you go. Well, now we know that how that works. Oh, the, uh, it works, but the sand is like, holy crap, the drifting is ridiculous. It doesn't even work on it. Well, there you go. Well, hell, it was good that I started working on my foundation. This thing doesn't even work on the, the... Oh, it is awesome, attempting to, but the drifting is ridiculous. It's probably a feature that, you know, they, they did on purpose for it. Drifting in the desert... Uh. Wait, am I? Oh, you know, I'm drifting a bit backwards. It's like the backward drifting is almost non-existing, though. It's like if you if you can't uh, if you're doing it badly, you know, going forward, go backwards. There you go. Do you think I can hit this and actually get back up? If I hit this at a good speed. Oh, nope. That did not work out in my way. Well, it looks like I can get up here anyways. There you go. So max speed 55. Anyways, there you guys have it. Wow. That is awesome. Beautiful. It's it's ridiculous. That's that's that is really well worth doing. And a lot of fun, honestly. Oh, she's just landing back. Hi. You know, we have one more tier to do anyways. Might as well uh, set it up. So you need 50 the rotors. A little expensive there. Uh, not really, like, that's as easy to do, actually, in, in an odd way, just because we just, uh, we have most of what we need. We're going to need to get more, uh, screws, but we did bring extras, didn't we? So, let's go grab those now. There you go. Don't know if it's going to be enough, but, uh, oh yeah, that's going to be enough. We need 50. So these are kind of like, you know, the, the, the new version of your, your, you know, your heavy iron plate kind of thing, right? So uh, you need quite a bit of them. Now the assembly, you remember that new building we have, the assembler? I'm assuming that's actually what we use now to build two items at once. So you need, uh, for example, the, uh, the bars here, plus you need the uh, screws. Just like the other ones, you need the plates and then you need the bars. Uh, so I think it's probably going to be sort of similar where, you know, you probably are able to do it in the assembler. I'm assuming the assembler has like two inputs. Now, is there anything complex to have like three inputs or four inputs or does the game end like that? You know, like that kind of kind of sounds like a cool thing, you know. So here's the assembler. We got all the parts we need. So eight of the other ones, four of those. Okay, it's just four. That's not too bad. And ten of those. Okay. So I'm assuming two inputs, there you go, two inputs and one output, and there you go. So you got your reinforced iron plates, you got the uh, modular frames, which I'll probably be used, and you have something called the smart plating, which is actually taking this and this and then making smart plating, which is pretty damn expensive if you think about it. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty hefty, uh, heavy cost, basically, so um, going to be well worth it, but uh, at the same time, yeah, it's going to be a pretty penny. Okay, so we got that part done, and we got that done, that done, and that done. Uh, you got this one done, and that done, and then you got that done, and then there you go. 
congratulations, Stop. my friends. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. I'm just excited that we finished that tier. So I think the next tier is locked, unless if it unlocks by that, no. So, of course, the next tier is uh, needs to be unlocked from what we understand has to be done by that buddy there. Which I'm going to probably remove that and rebuild it w on a platform. And I'm going to probably actually expand out there. My goal is to work my way out there. So we have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of moving things around. Um, that's kind of the goal, right? So it's going to be it's going to be pretty hefty. Uh, but I think it'll be well worth it to get out there and concrete that place. Uh, that's, that's easy peasy, but it'll be like lifting and redoing all this stuff. That's where it's going to get a little taxing. Um, I'll probably use some of my knowledge and things like that as well to, uh, just do them a little more efficient as well. So that way they're a bit faster and things like that. But, uh, um, it's going to be a lot of fun, but, uh, yeah, congratulations guys. We have, uh, in a sense finished tier two uh milestone on here so um that's a big deal and uh yeah so the factory cart really awesome really enjoyable these beacons um i'm gonna make some these uh would be very useful from time to time and actually probably useful even oh no because the never mind i can't take him off road i was gonna say he'd be actually really good off road with that but no you can't go off road we don't have that we don't have that luxury yet uh later on yes but right now not so much uh so yeah right now basically i would say making rotors is uh making rotors and the other plates is what i need but uh i'm still limited because i need to get concrete over there and work on that so maybe i should just start working on that with you guys a bit here now just you know bite the bullet and uh continue working on that and that's that's the that's the main goal right so um and even then like let's just get rid of all this we don't need it at most i might even be disassembling some buildings not you know assembling them so uh here you go it's like oh yeah i think i've concrete don't we have the old though there you go there you go. <laughs> Actually, that's going to bite me in the ass because I'm going to probably disassemble some stuff and then I'll be like, no room. But, uh, yeah. So I guess we can do this for a few minutes. You guys, you know, if you, you're done for the episode, you, you don't want to watch me do this. Uh, we'll be back, obviously, next time. And next time we're going to get, like, actually work on some of the actual assembly stuff. So we're going to do some of more of the core stuff. I might get some of the basic stuff done, too. So, like, for example, we've done, you know, the screws and things like that multiple times, right? So I might just set those part up and then just have it ready for, say, the assembler and then go from there uh, and then have fun. But, uh, yeah, I think we can get... Uh Hopefully I have enough uh, whatever for that one. These I think I could disassemble. I, I'm going to eventually need those and I'll put them in a better and more appropriate spot anyways. But I don't really need them right now anyway. So it's probably just best we retire them for now. Uh, a good way to do this too is going further away. So like um, kind of do them in towards you in like streaks. So like you go from here and then you just go boom, 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 boom. boom. Especially if you're not, like, if it's, like, you you know, where you're clicking on it is pretty much what's going to be right in front of you when it comes to you. Um, it doesn't screw up much. It, like, it works really well that way. So that's kind of kind of a key on that, I find. So obviously, uh, you know, this is starting to choke up a bit just because we got all these machinery here. Did I screw that up? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Um, let's go with... I'm ripping down that stuff. I probably actually have the ability to build these now. Let's build two of them side by side for now. Oh, I'm out of the bars. I'm like, eh. Okay, there you go. And... Uh, The only downside is, uh, we'll see here. That part won't be a problem. It's, uh, the, that storage container. Things are going to be a little more hectic on that side of things. That's when things are going to get a little, uh, spicy and cost-wise anyways. Let's get rid of that pull. 
And then there you go. And so for now, I guess we can just throw it in here. Um, I don't know if we filled up or I don't know if we dropped anything. I'm going to let you know now if you drop something, you might not know it. And that's the sucky part of this. I've done it before. Um, I actually I will actually let you know I did a save edit today. And uh, it was a website. I forget the site now. And I Googled it and somebody, like, there was, like, good information on it. Uh, I, I looked on Reddit. But basically what happened was one of the containers, when I took so much down here, like, I took down my whole fuel processing over here. All my fuel was in a container sort of like this, but it's a temporary one. And it fell under the rock. It was like, it wasn't the, it wasn't like this kind of rock. Well, it was similar, but it was like a, a non-functional rock. And it fell under it, and I couldn't access it. And I would have lost a lot of fuel and stuff. And it was just gonna, it's gonna make my day a little meh. And plus, I wanted to, you know, figure out if I could fix it. So there was a tool, and even in the web browser, you can use literally play with the X, Y, Z axis of it, and literally lift it up, save, reload the game. And that was it. So I'm not a person who accidentally like. Um, I'm not a person who gets, uh, you know, like how some people like they can't play with a tool like that because then they worry about them cheating, right? They'll be like, you know, then I, I was slazy, so I wanted to increase my production speed a bit and, you know, or, you know, I was like, oh, I'd have to sit here for five hours waiting for this to mine. But I decided to, you know, cheat in just those materials to save myself time. To me, I could never play a game. Like, I couldn't do that myself. I would just, I, I'd destroy myself. I just wouldn't enjoy it, right? Um, and I know other people who do that. And that's just how they play. And they can't help themselves or whatever. So, um, if that's the case, don't, don't, don't try it. You know, I don't want you to ruin the experience for yourself, of course. But uh, if it doesn't ruin it and you want to fix a, an actual issue or whatever, heck, do it. Um, that's, that's what the stuff's there for, right? So I think what I'll do is I'll put it here for the miner. There you go. And then I don't really care about the power right now. Like I'll bring it over here and, uh, it'll be ready to go kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, I haven't decided like that was for the one material, right? The, uh, yeah, that was for the, um, what do you call it? Copper wire. So, uh, clearly I'm going to have a lot of copper wires over here. This is where, uh, you're going to want to build another one of these, by the way. Uh, do do do. Sorry. Organization. I don't know why that seemed to escape me a couple times there. We'll do two of them for now, just in case. But what I'm gonna do is sort, and uh, I'm gonna go like this. I don't know if it'll drop it on me or not, or maybe I had enough inventory. Oh no, it did the same thing. Okay, so that's what happens. It dropped it there, but I was doing mass select. So I was going like this, you know, like the control like this and then deconstructing it. And so that's what happened. And then it put it underground. Oh, these are the nice wires. These are the ones that I wouldn't want to accidentally uh, misplace. So to get up here, you're going to have to go on this rock, I guess. And then there you go. <laughs> you don't have to, of course, but uh, you can make your ramp up and down and things like that, too. But uh, that works for now. Uh, so that's what that was there. So. I'll more likely bring those towards the base anyways. Uh, and then later on, that'll be uh, grab all. And there we go. So disappear. So that was just that container. That was a perfect example. And that was slightly under the map. It didn't go... I think it has... No, it doesn't have physics, I don't think. Because when I lifted it up and went back in the game, it was just floating in the sky. So no, I don't think it would have a physics to it. Because if it did, then I would have already lost it probably. So... Um, okay, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm interested in what happens to that one. I couldn't hold all that. So, is it under here now? Am I wrong? Did it? Did I have enough for holding it, maybe? Maybe I did have enough. I felt like I wouldn't have, but maybe I did. Huh. I'll go with I was wrong, maybe. There you go. And then, what does it require to make one of these guys, anyways? Uh, you probably want to keep that material in there. Okay, so the this and this. Because you're going to end up doing that again uh, for that or wherever else, right? For the next one. 
But uh, basically, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do this. I'll probably put miners wherever the miners are. And then uh, I might even fix this up in between episodes. So there will be a, a big change, but it'll be more mostly just converting everything to the platform side of things. And then, uh, yeah, the next episode, my goal is to actually make the use those assemblers get those up and running and start creating more advanced parts and maybe even uh, working on an opportunity to make the, like the ultimate version of them. Uh, and I don't have to do them right away. I could even do them by hand, hand done. Like for example, uh, just fill up a container and then just let them run through or whatever. But uh, the goal is to work on that in the future. Uh, I might even take a little break after foundationing here a bit and grabbing up some more wood and stuff like that for the biomass. Uh, the biomass is great now because remember you got tw you know 20 of those things. They're running way, way slower now um, because they're more than double the efficiency of the the, the, the regular biomass, right? So... Uh, they stack, they're, they're more denser, plus they were slightly higher efficiency on top of that. So maybe it was like a 20% or th whatever efficiency more. I'm not, I'm not sure what the math is there, but clearly uh, it's been doing really good for me. You can see how really slow those bars are. So um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like all that fun stuff. And uh, this is the best part of the episode. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.